We begin with new revelations about the American held captive in Iran. The Associated Press reports that Robert Levinson, a retired FBI agent who disappeared nearly seven years ago, was working for the CIA. The U.S. has always described Levinson as a private citizen. Now that's changed, and our senior correspondent John Miller is a former deputy director of national intelligence. You've followed this story from the very beginning. That's right, and the Associated Press was asked to hold this story, Nora, for Levinson's safety, and it did so for a period of years until yesterday. The news comes as U.S. and Iran are making historic progress on nuclear talks and easing sanctions, and now the two countries have a new point of negotiation. It is a conversation that has been going on behind the scenes between the U.S. and Iran since Levinson vanished in 2007. The Iranian government has long denied any knowledge of Levinson's whereabouts. But last year, when CBS This Morning interviewed then-Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, he seemed to acknowledge for the first time that Iran was holding Levinson. Is anything that could happen, a trade or something, that would allow him to come back to the United States? I remember that last year, Iranian uh, and American intelligence groups um, had a meeting, but I haven't followed up on it. I thought they had come to some kind of an agreement. But this year, when Charlie Rose followed up with the new Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani, he seemed to know, or at least admit knowing, less about Levinson's fate. We do not know any information, have any information about this person. Actually, our intelligence services have said that he is not in Iran. The new disclosures that say Levinson was working for the CIA may now encourage Iran to finally admit they've been holding him. Levinson was seen in this 2010 hostage video pleading for help. I need the help of the United States government. The Levinson family has been pushing the U.S. government to do more. Is it one of those things that you get used to? Oh, never, never. Last year, his wife, Christine, said she was frustrated by the lack of progress in freeing her husband since he disappeared seven years ago. When this first happened, I expected him to be home in a couple of days. We received this statement from the family last night. There are those in the U.S. government who have done their duty in the efforts to find Bob, but there are those who have not. It is time for the U.S. government to step up and take care of one of its own. After nearly seven years, our family should not be struggling to get through each day without this wonderful, caring man that we love so much. That from Christine Levinson and the family. So you think the negotiations begin? I think this changes everything, Charlie. This is something they did not want out there. And Adam Goldman's story in the AP pushes that news forward. But on the other hand, there's a, there's a wide assumption in the U.S. government that the Iranians, after holding them seven years, already knew this. So now that that's out there, two things happen. Number one, Iran saves face. They can say, hey, we, we caught a so. spy. Right. And the family can push the government harder in a public way, saying, this is one of our own who was doing things for this country, and you need to step up and make a bigger effort. I mean, seven years he has been held. This is the most extraordinary story, also because the U.S. government paid $2.5 million to the family of Robert Levinson so that they wouldn't get out that he was a agent for, the, it was an agent for the CIA, but on this rogue mission for the CIA. Extraordinary. So I think what he was doing for the CIA was basically a research contract. This is the kind of things that the analysis division, the analysts, um, give to academics and other experts. The thing is, as a, as a former FBI agent, Levinson was going and doing investigations and talking to people and bringing back evidence. And because this was out of form for the CIA, uh, a number of people, three, uh, were fired from the agency over this. Why did they call it a rogue mission? Uh, only Nora called it a rogue mission. Okay. <laughs> but, but the, but the well, statement said it was un unauthorized. It was, an un unauthorized. it was an unorthodox use of, of this guy, and that is what got him in trouble. Thanks, John.